So, guys, can you tell me a little bit about how your family got to Syria? How my family? How your family got to Syria? Like from the genocide? Yeah. In, in between the 1930, 32, mm -hmm. until that years they lasted mm -hmm. to stay between that Western Armenian areas, and they they removed from there. They arrived to uh, uh, northeast part of Syria, Kamishli, and from Kamishli to Aleppo. Mm -hmm. um, they stayed a little time, so little time in Kamishli, and then they moved to Aleppo, mm -hmm. Aleppo city, Syria. Mm -hmm. Do you know where they lived uh, in Western Armenia? Western Armenia, my mother's part is Aitab, my father's part in Kharpert, uh, exactly the Palu, the Palu village. What did they do there? Do you know? What kind of jobs they were working? They or? were farmers. Mm -hmm. They were uh, like um, farmers, they were uh, like, what they say? They, they keep animals, mm -hmm. they grow uh, like uh, uh, wheat. Oh. wheat, wheat, oats, no, mm -hmm. not oats, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I think oats, yeah, which uh, that makes uh, um, we say in Armenian savar, like, uh, they put inside the bowl, uh, inside the soup. Uh, uh -huh. I forget. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know it either. Yeah, torem like uh, wheat. Uh, that yeah becomes after that flow uh -huh. to make yeah, dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wheat. Farmers keeping animals uh, in the village. They said to me, my grandfather, when he was alive, there were people who they go to big village, big big uh, cities, like um, to learn, mm -hmm. to have educate, to have. Uh, Educate. And some people they stay in the village, they do village work, farming, keeping animals, fruits, vegetables, wheat, and oats, like let's say everything. Mm -hmm. It's village life, you know, mm -hmm. Having, it's mini village. Mm -hmm. Did your, was your grandfather born there or was he born in there? My father's father, yeah, born there mm -hmm. in the village. Does he have any memories about what it was like to come to Kamishli or? Uh, he says when he arrived, he was six, six years old, five years old, maybe, uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he doesn't remember much, or he didn't? Yeah, no, he doesn't remember much. Um, and then when your family got to Syria, what kind of work did they do? How did they find Syria? What was it like? My grandfather started, you know, he was the... It, the biggest um, boy in the family, and they built, they built, they built their life. They started, you know, from the zero. And my grandfather got married, and you know, has children. Mm -hmm. And my father, next generation, mm -hmm. and then me. And when you were growing up. What, what was Aleppo like growing up for you? Like, did you have siblings? What kind of activities did you do? Brothers, sisters, football, I don't know. You know, it's a, if we talk about the life, it was a big city. Mm -hmm. I say Aleppo, it was a big city and uh, everybody was living his life you know, just like normal. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was working and I was going to school. And then I stopped from the school, I started working. What did you do? What kind of work? The same. The same. Yeah, the same. Can you tell me a little bit about your work for someone who doesn't know? About my work, I started like between 12, 13, between 12.
So you said that you were working with your father. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about what other people in your community were doing? What other kind of jobs people had? Like other family members, I mean. Did other people in your family work? My family? Yeah, of course. My uncle's sons, uh, my uncles, my aunts. Uh, like everybody uh, had had have uh, their job, their work, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody was doing his business, and I was doing with my dad working, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, like every you know, in Aleppo city, everybody goes to their work and working every morning. It's normal life. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got to be here in Armenia? How? When you came here to Armenia. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the end of the 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came here. Uh, it was for just like a visit, you know? Yeah. And that just happened. The visit turned into another steps. Yeah. Okay, so you came to Yerevan on a visit yeah. and then you stayed. Yes. What was that like? You came with just your visiting stuff. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. What was it like? Like, you know, it's, it was a little bit hard yeah. to come visiting some places and stay there. It's like, uh, it was a little bit confusing, no, not confusing, but it wasn't normal, yeah. <laughs> you know. Some kind of difficult. Yeah, some kind of difficult, but that just happened. Well, we can't do anything. How did you make your decision to stay when you were on this vacation, this trip? Mm. What happened that you said mm, you should stay? A little, a little time I wasn't working, and then we thought to do something to continue our life and that just happened we start a little mini place just like this place uh, and then this is our third place like our first place just like this place was a little place and the second place it was bigger but after the coronavirus you know after some problems we removed here we came here do you like this building? Do you like this? This area now? Yeah. Honestly, we are trying. Uh, honestly, like um, we start a new location from zero. You know? mm -hmm. We hope as soon as possible it will be good. Yeah. You know the situation. If we, it depends in the with the situation. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. If the situation is good, we don't have problem. But if the situation is get a little bit hard times, you know, uh, all the country, all the city, the business uh, get frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me some more about what it was like to start your business first? When you were first here, you decided to stay. Mm -hmm. What was it like? like? You know, every country, if like for example the coronavirus uh, like it was the big problem about all the business in the world like mm -hmm. it was very hard yeah. to all of us for example for Armenia it was too hard like even the United States Europe the big city the big countries you know yeah um that's sure. the, if the situation in the world goes good <laughs> we work, we don't have a problem, but you know, I don't like to be the world very sad situation, you know, because all the people are working, the business, and the giant businessmen, you know. <laughs> Mm. We 
Honestly, we, we thought to do a few mini steps and if it works, we would continue. Mm -hmm. And little bit, little bit, we worked and you know, the customers come and they liked and you know, they sent to their friends, they, that was the point. Mm -hmm. Honestly, about, uh, about this situation, what happened, we had to have a problem with the owner of the uh, that place, workplace, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. about the coronavirus. Yeah, my my situation a little bit hard because of uh, the the problem with the owner. Mm -hmm. okay. How did people like your food when you first started working? Did you do you think that people who are not from Syria they liked your food? Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, uh, from the beginning was uh, Syrians mm -hmm. and a few local, you know, mm -hmm. and then the local people started, mm -hmm. started, uh, and uh, for example, someone coming and next time he brings his friend, his neighbor, mm -hmm. his or her neighbor, and after that, uh, we had had many uh, interviews, just like you. Free interviewers, free reporters, journalists, and free and non free, you know, um, organization. So, so um, uh, you had worked with your father before, yes. and now you're working with your mom. Do you like working with your family generally? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's working with family uh, or. Finding someone in the work that you can understand mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. is the most one of the uh, one of the um, important part. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. important part of yeah. to understanding. Uh, yeah, maybe the family can help you more. Yeah. Um, do you have any family who's still in Syria? Yes. Yeah. Who's in Syria? My father's brother, uncle, mm -hmm. and my mother's smallest sister. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing there? They are living mm -hmm. their normal life, you know, the situation is hard to in Syria mm -hmm. and 10 years already, you know, it's the same situation. Hopefully it will be good because, because you know, I always think about my life from my personal to the others and everywhere in the world to be everyone in good, mm -hmm. in best way, you know. Yeah. Okay. For example, I'm meeting you today, I wish you the best, come on. Maybe you go, you continue your life to Alaska. Everyone has hard times, but the war is the most, is the bad, baddest one of the bad, baddest things yeah. in this world, you know. War, it's very hard. Yeah. So you were saying about war being one of the biggest, one of the worst problems a person can face in their life. Can you tell me a little bit about... Me? I'm fa oh, no, no, in a person, generally. In, in life, if yes. there's war, that's one of the worst things. Yeah, it's one, one of the worst thing. things, yeah, yeah. for yeah. people. Any nation, come on. Yeah. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about um, what you saw, if anything, of the conflict in Aleppo or in Syria on the news or in person or heard from friends. What is the conflict like? Uh, the war. Come on, the war in Syria started in 2012, mm -hmm. but the Aleppo city wasn't war. All the areas started war. Aleppo city wasn't he wasn't uh, entering himself. All the Aleppians people. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The other areas, for example, uh, already was started civil war, and then, and in Aleppo wasn't war, and then arrived to Aleppo in 2012, and then you know we I saw as a person and. Uh, that this couldn't be normal. I picked up my package 
my baggages mm -hmm. and I came to Armenia for a visiting. That was the point that I could stay two months or one month. Maybe it could be a, they got deal, they negotiate, they don't continue the war. Mm -hmm. But it continued. It continued until today we can say. You were saying that you picked up your bags, you yeah. came to Armenia, Armenia, and you said, I'll maybe I'll stay a couple of months, see yeah. what happens. Already my sister was here. She was here already. Yeah, she came before me. Did you have any relatives or anyone to stay with when you came? No. No. My sister and my friend. Yeah. Did you did your sister come and stay with your friend, or did she? My sister you? was a volunteer. Oh, okay. What kind of volunteer? Betrayed Armenia. Cool. Okay, very interesting. Um, her second, her second time was. Second time. Okay. And what was she doing? Do you remember? Um, first when she came was in Yerevan, mm -hmm. and the second part when she came was uh, in Artsakh and Gumri. Yeah. In the beginning was in Gumri and then she went they the you know the administration decides mm -hmm. they, where you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to Artsakh. I don't know the first one which one was Artsakh or Gumri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so she came she had this network through birth rate Armenia, she was connected already. Yes. And you came and you kind of joined her, you joined your friend? No. Uh, she already, I think, uh, her her last. M she, I think, she, she, at that time, in that time, she finished it, uh, her her volunteering, uh, and when I arrived, uh, we entered the house. You know, I stayed a little time with my friend, and she was with her friends, mm -hmm. and then. Um, we rent a house because uh, we don't, we didn't know what the future will come. Yeah. You know? And then my parents, they come, mm -hmm. they came. Did you ever have? So your mom and your dad came here. Yes. Yeah. Did you ever have a time when you made a decision to say I'm staying here now? Or? Yeah, it happened because you know I started business. We started business and. And okay, we we are thinking about Syria, but the war is not ending. But we are working, so it it's better to stay working until next the next future days. What it will come? You know, we don't know the future, and that just happened and. I'm con I continued my life here and, you know, as, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> you have a business? Yeah, I have a business, I'm working, mm -hmm. everything is okay. Do you miss Aleppo sometimes? Have you <laughs> gone back to visit or? Maybe I go back for visit, maybe. Uh, you know, not, let's say not for visit, we, we, I need to go because we have house there. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was one of the reasons to going back. Mm -hmm. But for visiting, I don't have any friends. Mm -hmm. My friends, they left me just like me. They left Aleppo and my a few relatives. Maybe. That would, yeah, they are living, still living there. Maybe that would be the reason to go back Aleppo. Yeah. We have shops workplaces and house mm -hmm. that could be the reason yeah. there is no other reason come on let, let's talk honestly you know your childhood you know you remember when you grew up your friends your we, we used to play the football in the street you know that was crazy moment and you know it's something was in the past, you know, we are now in the future, yeah. Mm -hmm. The best part of your life is your childhood, yeah. Let's talk honestly, but, you know, our life in the future, we have many changes, 
we travel somewhere, we travel maybe, for example, you are in Alaska now, maybe in the future you go to other states, you know, you find a job, a work, a good work, you know, what happens in our life in the future, we don't know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, honestly, I love to go because, you know, I said, we have to have a childhood memorized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some relatives, yeah. my uncle, my mother's aunt, sister. Do you feel like, uh, do you feel like Armenia is, is really different from Aleppo in yes. a lot of ways? Yes. So you were talking about how you miss Aleppo or you would like to go there. Mm. Yeah, it's diff It's difficult, you know. Our life <laughs> is going on, and we are continuing. We are trying everything to be good, and I hope everything will be good, will be fine for everyone to have a good life. Do you like Armenia? Yes. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> How does it feel? Like, do you feel more Armenian or Syrian Armenian or somewhere in between? Like, if you think of yourself, what kind of label do you want for yourself? Diaspora Armenian, Syrian Armenian, just Armenian? How do you feel? About about what? About my life? Like yeah, about your or your spirit or your your person. Honestly, about um, connecting with people and continuing my life, uh, I have many kinds of friends. I have American friends, American-Armenian friends, uh, a few Arab friends who stay in Armenia, Syrian Armenians, uh, local Armenians, all of them, I respect them, uh, I do my job. Uh, I respect their life, their situation, you know. Um, everyone is for me a good person, like, uh, you know. I do accept all, all of them. You know? I can't uh, take a, um, put a, between of them, uh, uh, like, difference. Yeah. They all are. They all are of them. Each one has his special uh, character mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. What's a Syrian Armenian character for you? What's that like? The Syrian. Come on, it's a very hard question. <laughs> no, it's simple, but it's you know it's very creative. Like the Syrian Armenian. We all know the Syrian Armenian. Uh, the Armenian, maybe, lost his everything, like, I can say, uh, and started from new, his life. For, for now, this, this, this was the Syrian, this is the Syrian Armenian, for now. And do you do you have a Syrian Armenian community here in Yerevan? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have Syrian Armenian friends. I meet them yesterday. I was with my friend Syrian Armenian. Uh, so you have you saw a Syrian Armenian friend yesterday. Yes. Do you feel there's a difference between Syrian Armenians and Armenians from Armenia for you? Yeah. There is a few things that, uh, because you know, this is um, Eastern Armenian and Western Armenian, but it doesn't mean it is, this one is good, that one is bad, no. They all are good, and I just, come on, I just do love the friendship with all, I don't have any, you know, <laughs> any problem. Let's see, so 
here in Yerevan, do you do anything with the Syrian Armenian community? Like, do you uh, go to church with Syrian Armenians mm. or do activities? Or do no, or my honestly, my last activity was dancing Armenian. Mm. Okay. Armenian. We say Azga mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. The kochari and uh, many styles of kochari, and there is, a, you know, it become I think from the ethnic Armenians. Mm -hmm. yeah. The and, old, old. And you do that still here in Yerevan? Yeah, yeah. This dance, yeah. yeah. With just Syrians or with lots no, of? No, lo look, it, it is a local group. Mm -hmm. There is a trainer. She is a local. And she trained us. When did you start? Did you start when you were a kid? In 2016, 17. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite Armenian dance? My favorite Armenian dance. Yeah. All of them. Each of each of them. Uh, has uh, his beautiful parts of dancing, you know. Each of each of Armenian dance has his beautiful. You know, it's an art. Mm -hmm. And what about so you have this Lama mm -hmm. um about Syrian Armenian culture? It's kind of a special culture, right? It's Syrian Armenian culture, and it's added like we add many things on that. Mm -hmm. In stuff foods and we create something new mm -hmm. you can see in the menu yeah lots of different things. Yeah. yeah it should be more but um, a few situation made us to stay in in this in this uh, statement mm -hmm. and in the future upcoming days more items we don't know yeah. <laughs> we so, hope in positive hopefully <laughs> In positive, we stay in positive. We stay. Um, we hope everything will be more good. <laughs> yes, yes, I hope so too. Um, so, do you feel like you have any? Do you feel like you have any responsibility or want to preserve Syrian Armenian culture? Yeah. Like specific, you know, like specific culture from Aleppo or from where your family was in. Or like the, the food, I can say, uh, the food mm -hmm. which we are making, I, that's already public here, you can see. Uh, maybe um, like my speaks, my speak accent. Your yeah, mm -hmm. Western Armenian, but I can speak Eastern Armenian too. Mm -hmm. uh, that Syrian, maybe as you said. Uh, but these, is these it two things. for you? Is it important to, for example, say Western Armenian or speak Western Armenian, or for you it's all the same? No, there is nothing. There is nothing important thing between about this uh, issue, you know. Western Armenian, Eastern Armenian. It's okay. I'm. I'm okay. I don't. Uh, I don't. Um, um, like uh, how they say. Yeah, Chidar album. There is. Uh, I don't. Um, as I said before, uh, I don't put difference between these all things. It's all for me, it's good. Has his special shape, st special style, special characters, you know, mm -hmm. each of anything. Yeah, yeah. yes. Understood, understood. Uh, so, is there anything else that you would like to add about your life as a Syrian Armenian, as someone who grew up in Aleppo, someone who lives here? Add something likewise. No, I don't know. Anything else you want to say? You know, like. Do you plan to stay here? Do you want to move? Um, I don't know. Yes. Okay. There is nothing to say, but uh, but it's good to someone uh, 
uh, staying positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. If someone who didn't know about Armenia or Syrian Armenians, mm -hmm. what would you want to tell them? What should they know about Syrian Armenians? Armenian, Armenia and Syrian Armenians. What I should tell them? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Okay, it's fine. Everything will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, is this question important? No, no, you can take it out if you want. It's it's just uh, a stay in positive minds. Yeah, stay in positive minds. Okay. Okay, great. Um, then like I they say, positive vibes. Yeah. Positive okay. vibes. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay. Um, so then I think we'll stop here. Unless there's anything else you want to add. Or anything. Love each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nersari, Nersari, inches gankrel, inches himmar jibido karacer, sayerevanne, aister kodanne, urkes pasumen, minchev ges kisherin. Yeah, you want me to say in English? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah? Come inside, just come inside, while you are standing outside, with your jackass frozen smile on your face. This is Yerevan, this is your home. Where are the people waiting for you until the meeting? In the middle of the night, yes, where you can find us. <laughs>